What's up, guys? <laughs> Jeremy here. Yo Savage. And this, look at this. What's going on, guys? What, <laughs> what is going on here? What's, oh, that's not a fake, guys. Okay, that's my, <laughs> that's my Dior Sauvage bottle. Life in Miami. It seems like not only my hair can't stand the humidity of Miami, it just goes down, but also <laughs> this here. So I'm redoing this review about Dior Sauvage because that old one is outdated. By the way, we are here in Miami at this one villa where they also shot Bad Boys 2 and it's just gorgeous. We are here fantastically. We can move a little bit and I speak about the fragrance. So by now, everybody of you should know the fragrance Dior Sauvage. This one is the superstar if you want to have a versatile fragrance, which is mostly fresh and mass appealing. This fragrance is fresh and mass appealing. Everybody loves it. And it has good performance, which is not often the case. I'm speaking now about the Eau de Toilette. We have three concentrations. We have the Cool Spray, we have the Eau de Toilette, and we have the Parfum. All three have their spot, all three are good. I have to say this, <laughs> this is my favorite, guys. This here, let's go a little bit, check out the, the Riviera and whatever we have there. This is, this is my favorite simply because it has a bit of everything. Cool Spray is very citrusy, bright, and the Parfum is very spicy, spicy, spicy. And this one has citrusy bright, spicy depth, and a long-lasting vibe, which is great in all of those. So to me, this is my favorite concentration, the Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. One of my most complimented fragrances, easily. This fragrance will get you massive amount of compliments. Massive amount of compliments. I'm going to spray it right now. And I don't have any bikini girls running around here, but I can ask some women if they like this fragrance or not, like her. <laughs> we can go a little bit. So the three main notes in this one are easy explained. We have bergamot, which is a fresh citrusy fruit. We have transparent ambroxan, which gives it a woody, long-lasting vibe without being overbearing. And at third, you have spices like pepper and even nutmeg. But this just gives a little bit of spice. It's not overwhelming like you think you sneeze because of that spice. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making a YouTube video right now. Can you tell me, would you like to smell this on a man? Do you think this smells good, this fragrance? Is this fragrance good on a man? Yeah? Can I ask you from 1 to 10 if 10 is the best fragrance on the planet? Of course, but it's a man's fragrance. Watch out, it's still fresh now. Oh, uh, have this is this reminds me of my dad. So it's a familiar scent. Yeah, that was a six. A six out of six ten. <laughs> See, this fragrance is popular and you will be recognized when you wear this one as one of those guys that wears this type of a fragrance. When I wore this fragrance as it came out, I got tons of compliments because nobody knew that scent DNA. Nowadays, Two years later, not so much anymore because just like with the feminine fragrance, I smell something like La Vie Abel, ooh, sexy, but it's La Vie Abel, but it's Thierry Muglet Alien. I know these scent DNAs, so it doesn't impress me. I don't say, ooh, what's this? You have to be prepared. You won't get so many compliments with this anymore as you used to. So to end this video, I'm going to give my ratings. Still got my backpack in the back. We have to run back in a second but I wanted to show you the inside of this, of this place. So, performance, this one gets an 8.5 out of 10. This one clearly gets an 8.5 out of 10 because it is long-lasting yet fresh. Fantastic. Long-lasting yet fresh. You don't get too often. Usually fresh fragrances don't have great performance. So this one, fantastic. Okay, sure, we, okay, we go out again. Thank you. Can I just ask you internally, do you like this fragrance? Is it good for a man? Mm, oh. Yes, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and from one to 10, if 10 is the best fragrance ever, what would you give this? The one or 10. 10 is best, or what's uh, uh, eight, eight, seven, five? Eight, okay, thank you. <laughs> See you in a second.
So performance 8.5 out of 10 compliments. I have to deduct a little bit. It used to be better. Now it's in the 7 out of 10 area. It's still great, but it, you don't get so many compliments like you used to. Versatility, 9 out of 10 easily. You can wear this everywhere, anytime. Fall, winter, spring, summer, work, play, gym, whatever you want. 9 out of 10. It's strongest part, versatility, fantastic. Overall, my current rating for Dior Sauvage is an 8.5 out of 10. All right, so it's a very good fragrance. Still one of the best fresh mass appealing fragrances. That's Dior Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Thank you, Dior, for this. Check this out, guys. That's my, <laughs> that's my Dior Sauvage. All right, love you. See you next time on that video. Peace. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you go in and then you zoom out, and just like me walking here. You got that with the background? <laughs> cool. Okay, so we have that nicely. We have a spin. Let's just see what's there. Thanks for filming, bro. Yeah, of course. Here we only have restrooms. This looks interesting. 